Today we're going to be running the numbers on this quad that my client sent me. He needs to know if this is a good investment or a bad investment. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the place where you guys go if you're trying to invest in real estate and you want someone to walk you through the process, someone who can not only walk you through the process, but can also manage your asset after the fact, right? Why limit yourself to investing in your own home market? Maybe you're like my guy, Jeff, who's in California and the prices don't make any sense, right? So instead of trying to invest in his backyard, he invests in the cheapest markets in the USA. Markets where you can potentially buy a four-unit apartment building like this for like 169 grand, right? Boo! Can't do that uh, in California, but you could do it here in Cleveland where I happen to manage one of the largest scattered site rental portfolios of its kind in this market. I've sold over $200 million worth of investments just like this. So I know what I'm doing, Jeff. Now, you sent this to me. You're very interested in this. And I have uh, a, a pretty large amount of knowledge on this one, right? little backstory on this one. This one was on the market like six months ago, okay? And then for whatever reason, the seller didn't get the offers he wanted, so he chose to pull it off the market, make a few moderate changes, and then reposition it for sale. So the first thing I'm going to do for you, Jeff, I want you to see my original analysis of it now. Hi, I'm here for an interview. Homewise TV? Yep, take a seat with the other applicants. Thank you. Welcome. Thirty-nine twenty-six Woodbridge, Cleveland, four four one nine. Hit the market twelve days ago, hundred and fifty thousand dollars, bro. Quad, love quads, and this is just like your, you know, normal rental. Like nothing super special about this, other than it's priced really well and it's going to work really well for the financing. They got like neutral decor, nothing like super amazing high end fancy. It's you know got some lower income tenants in there, but there's some serious meat left on the bone here because the the mom and pop landlord is running this thing. They're renting their units way too cheap, man. So you got some like good uh, long term meat on the bone. Uh, you know things are looking good for you in the long term. I guess is what I'm trying to say with this one, right? Just cruise through here. You see all the mechanicals. I like this picture they got. Sweet shot of like this lame ass shower curtain in this dude's arm. I have no idea why they would have been uh, included this picture. <laughs> ah, good for them. Oh man, this is kind of a bummer. They had a bigger, uh, a bigger vanity, and they just replaced it with a smaller vanity, but they never fixed up the wall. God damn, man. You can you get this with mom and pop landlords, bro. Amateur hour, dude. Either A, fix the wall, or B, get a new vanity that's bigger than the old one was. Uh, but that's okay, right? You know, that's what happens, right? Not every landlord is an extreme professional, and reasons like that are why this dude is getting such a low rent roll compared to what he could be, right? As far as the rent roll goes, bro, two of those units are studios. He's renting those at 300 a pop. Now, market rent, right? So if Holton Weiss is running this and uh, we're doing the unit turns, we'd be going for 450 on those studios, right? As far as the two one, he's renting it at six. That's cheap. It should be t it should be 750, and then the one one six that should be 650. So currently he's bringing in 18 a month, 21,600 a year. Of that 21,600 a year, accounting for your fixed and variable expenses, I think you should get a net. Operating income average for the year of 9946 That's off of the current numbers. As far as price goes, I think we could work them down a little bit, right? I think we could offer 140 and get it locked up for 140 At least that would be my hope, right? I think that would be good. If you got to pay like 143 144 145 I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think 140 should be our target. That means you're only going to have to put down 35 years, 65K. So you'll still have another $30,000 to to play with in this market. Bank alone, you 105. This is why I love quads. This thing should project out to a 13-2 cash on cash return or a 7-1 cap. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, 
Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. All right, Jeff, welcome back. So that's what I thought at that time, right? I was thinking we could probably squeeze this thing out for 140 k I don't really think that's going to be doable at this point, right? He now wants to get uh, 169 for it. Let me switch this over so you can see this. Yeah, he's trying to get 169 for it. And he's pro you're probably going to have to give it to him, bro. It doesn't look like he was willing to sell back then for the lower price, and he has done a little bit more work, right? The listing agent went ahead and discussed all of the work he's done to it since that analysis, right? So uh, let me go ahead and just uh, read it all to you from the listing agent. Updates in the last six months include but not limited to Replaced all supplies and drains in the basement, including new water meters per unit, a new water tank for unit two, new furnaces for unit three and four, uh, new smoke and carbon monoxide detectors throughout. Uh, he did a laminate install, lighting, bathroom, sink, faucet, medicine cabinet, shower assembly, all that jazz. So he did the bathroom, right, in unit one. In unit two, he did some paint, uh, just more cosmetic stuff. There's some of that in the pictures. I'll go to that in a second. Uh, you know, did the kitchen faucet and fixed the drain and crap. Uh, unit three, he did uh, laminate throughout, and uh, he did a little bit of bath and kitchen remodel. And then unit four, he did more cosmetic upgrades, all right? So they're saying the market rent potential here is 2100 I don't believe so, as I mentioned previously. Uh, what I believe the market rent is going to be a few hundred dollars shorter than that. The little fixtures and updates he made does not really change uh, the market rent here. Okay, so is the unit in better condition than it was previously? Yeah, like as you could see, right? He, he, you know, he he put lipstick on it. He cosmetically fixed it up. All right, does that make it worth thirty thousand dollars more than at that time? Yes and no, right? Um, you know, I guess what it's really going to be worth is what someone's willing to pay and what someone's willing to accept. Uh, he wasn't willing to accept the low offer, uh, before, right? So the 140, he wasn't down to take that, right? So it would have been great if we can get it at 140. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's possible anymore at this point in time, right? He's going to want a little bit more. He wants 170. So it's up to you how much you want to offer. I could offer whatever you like. Uh, I can almost guarantee you though, that if we offer... 140 he ain't gonna take it now if you pay 169.9 which is what he's asking for is it still a pretty good deal yeah i think so but uh you got to understand my thoughts are the same it is like not the most amazing uh quad there's not the most amazing craftsmanship in this right some cosmetic repairs but it's it's nothing like amazing right but that's also why it's still super cheap right i believe i sent another quad to you jeff for the the price point much nicer property if I had my choice between owning uh, this one or that one. Well, I'd probably want to own both. But if I could only own one, I'd probably pick that one up even though it's two and a quarter, right? It's just a better property. Uh, however, it's next to impossible to pick up a quad in the Cleveland market for this price point, 169 which is what I believe uh, is going to be the seller's minimum price point. But it is up to you. I will make the offer uh, at whatever number you prefer. But again, my previous thoughts of 140 <laughs> It's probably not going to happen, dog. So it's up to you. You tell me what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.